Hello everybody and welcome to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, you can just call me Jay here. And today guys, I wanted to hop onto my server that I have admin powers on and kind of fly around and show you guys where things spawn, where you can find boars, deers, chickens, uh, bullfrogs, crabs, turtles, all that types of stuff. All the new AI that they've brought into Irima here with update 4. So you can see here I'm just kind of flying around in my camera mode here. I'm up here at the radio tower, kind of overlooking everything. Also, I just want to give you guys a general overview of the map in this video as well to kind of really give you a full understanding of kind of how to play this game, where to go, where to get things, all that jazz, right? So we're looking north right now, and over here is going to be the western coast. This is the area that got a lot of uh, work done compared to update 3. Complete overhaul and uh, looking much better. Uh, we'll get a closer view of that uh, later in this video, of course. And looking out north, way over there in the center of the screen, that's going to be the giant arches. And just below us here is Pocket Pool and a location that a lot of you may be uh, uh, familiar with now, since update four and the stress test, is the Oasis Pool right there in the center of the map. Over off in the east, kind of just beyond that mountain that you can't see uh, over is gonna be the swamp area. And uh, you can see it doesn't really render in very well uh, <laughs> from a far distance, unfortunately. That's just my computer settings while recording, um, as well as some unoptimizing that uh, I think Ibrima could do a little bit better of. Um, but yeah, that's uh, out there in the far distance. That is going to be Temple Rock. So let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm going to do this whole video in one one take with no clips, so you can really get an understanding of where we are in the map and kind of what uh, what and where things are. So if I go ahead and hit this end button here, it's going to pop up all of the AI that are currently spawned in the world. It'll also show players, but I don't think we have any other players uh, on right now. So let's go ahead and start over here in the west. You can already see immediately that there's just a ton of green everywhere, but you can see that it says AI chicken, AI deer, AI rabbits, AI boar, right? Those are all going to be uh, the AI here. And if, uh, in fact, if I just zoom in here on this chicken, we shall see that there is indeed going to be a chicken at these coordinates. Where are you at, chicken? Hiding under the brush. Oh, <laughs> right. I am going to have to uh, move my pteranodon over there for you guys to actually see. It doesn't actually load in, which is frustrating unless you're uh, actually in the area. Let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Okay, well, I, I ended up having to cut there because yeah for whatever reason uh you're normally just able to click and that'll teleport your um your creature but i'll be real with you guys the admin side of owning a server is extremely buggy and i have issues with it all the time uh, of things not working out the way i want it to so if we just come over here with the actual uh pteranodon we can find this chicken i'm sure and there it is just kind of hanging out in fact i have never tried killing this with a uh pteranodon yeah there we go one hit kill that makes sense <laughs> there we go eat up but we're gonna spend most of our time flying around but that's just to show you guys that you can trust that there are actually gonna be ais hanging out of the spot even if we don't see them if it's got the tag there it's basically letting you know yeah Creatures are going to be spawning in this area. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look over at the western area. Now, I do want to start pre by prefacing this with the fact that this is just currently where the spawns are on my server right now. I don't know if this means this is the only place things are going to spawn or if it means that, um, you know, things can spawn like over where we're looking now uh, below the radio tower. Things can spawn there and they just have it. This is just one sample size, and maybe I can make another video uh, on a different time to see where some of the AIs have moved. Um, but currently, this is just a big sample size to kind of, again, help you guys understand where to go to have a, a high chance to get uh, some AI creatures for uh, for some meals. So you can see over in this new area here, um, the waterfall area underneath the radio tower um, has no AI currently, so maybe stay away from that. Uh, but if we head up over here to this section, fly through the trees through this section this is the uh, area with water so uh, if you guys didn't know you can actually get fresh water from this pond right there a little puddle really not even a pond uh, and it does look like we have sea turtles and crabs that spawn all along this section so relatively decent area to get some meat and food uh, going on right there if we head over here a little bit this is uh, the shipping containers area looks like there are uh, no crabs and sea turtles right now. However, when I was here in my last video, I was finding sea turtles here. So I would I would presume that sea turtles can probably spawn along this entire area, um, uh, as far as the section that we're looking at right now. 
And there's even, look at that, there's even, there's even a crab out of bounds. What are you doing over there? Also, look at that, right in the middle of the screen. Is that like a human structure? Hold on, let's go through the barrier because we can. Yeah, look at this. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The devs just having fun. It's a boat. It's an upside down boat. What in the world? <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of cool. And there's a crab down there. Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, this is the port area. Uh, and you can see that uh, the sea turtles are only, and the crabs are only going to be south of here. Also, I apologize for all the popping. Again, it's the it's the graphic settings I have. Everything's running at uh, um, medium, honestly, except for the textures, which are high. Um, and the server has some optimization that could be a little bit better, especially when flying. You notice when I fly really fast, it uh, loads in the chunks really harshly. So that's just kind of a, a thing we're going to have to deal with. So let's go ahead and take a look over here. We're in the western area. This is uh, by the... Uh, arches here they're actually a lot harder to see now with the updated map they added a lot more foliage here let's go ahead and hide the ai for a second they added a lot more foliage around the arches um and so they're a little bit harder to see from afar but they're still here same spot same vista view that they always had um i'll go ahead and turn ai back on here but you can see i'm going to zoom way up in the sky here to kind of get us get us a bird's eye view you can see that this area generally is pretty full of ai all over the place now it is definitely going to be harder when you're running around on the ground floor to really notice where these things are but generally speaking the northwest is a fantastic place for it looks like rabbits boars deers chickens etc right so very very good um i do want to <laughs> warn you guys that the boars are pretty ridiculous and they attack you pretty dramatically um and they'll, they'll chase you down pretty rough and um yeah so be aware of the boars uh only hunt them if you're if you're big if you're a juvenile you're gonna want to stick to the uh you know the deers and the um the chickens and and the smaller creatures like that the rabbits and stuff so so you don't die right i had a i had a boar kill me when i was a uh I would say like an adolescent. I wasn't quite fully uh, out of juvenile, really. Um, but I was I was a packy, and it just wouldn't leave me alone, and I died. So be aware of that. Let's go ahead and zoom back towards the center of the map here, towards the area where most people do play as we get all that server lag, all those hitches out of the way. Okay, so this is the most popular area of the map, right around here. An important thing to notice about this that uh, I noticed pretty prevalently when I was just playing, not even using this AI mode, is that there's not a lot of things that spawn in this area around Pocket Pool. I went hunting around Pocket Pool because this used to be a hot spot uh, for everything, for players, for AIs, etc. There used to be a lot of dryos that spawned out in this section. It doesn't seem so anymore. Um, so yeah, so just be aware that this actual area here along this river, not the best for AIs, pretty pretty empty and i think that's just because there's not a lot of flat land for them to spawn on so they might have spawned them away from the flat land just so you don't have any buggy ai running around and like falling up and down cliffs you know what i mean just kind of looks bad so i think they uh might have made that decision uh if you get out here towards the center of the map however there is a lot and uh even by this oasis you will see there are a ton of bullfrogs just kind of hanging out um they're all over the place just absolutely littering the outside so uh bullfrogs decent little bit of food there so Go ahead and grab that. Now, I was saying this is center, just because center river, rather, is a better way of saying that area that we just were. The actually true center of the map is going to be this chunk of open plains here. And you can see that there are a few chickens and a few rabbits, but overall, there's not really many large creatures, right? You don't have any boars. You don't have many deers. There's like a deer, like, right up there in the center of the map. So there's a few deers hanging out, but they're kind of at the borders of the forest. Um, so, yeah, out in the center of the map here, there's really just kind of small stuff, which makes sense. A chicken and a rabbit they would be hanging out um in open plains and deers and boars would probably stick to the forest that's how they work in real life makes sense that they're choosing the devs are choosing to spawn them in the forest area let's go ahead and take a, a look over here i call these pteranodon rocks um and again it's a forest area this, so this whole forest area is very similar to uh the rest of the northwest section up there by the giant arches right you're gonna get pretty much everything in the center of the map if you're looking for food head north and head west and you're generally going to be okay uh unless it's you know sea turtles and <laughs> sea turtles and crabs that you need as a pteranodon all right let's go ahead and take a look at the jungle goalie area next that is going to be the area over here once it loads in it'll look real good give it a second there it goes 
Now, the jungle goalie here is very similar to the rest of the forest. I will just fly through here just to kind of show it off, because uh, I think they did a great great job. In fact, I'll, let's hide the, hide the, uh, the AI for a second. And uh, the, the upgrades that they have done to the jungle goalie are stunning. My favorite little spot is right here. Kind of cuts off to the right. Has a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, a little bit of a side pool. It's just kind of a cool addition, right? The the art uh, side of Ivrima has blown me out of the water. Like, it's it's really, really cool, and it looks really good. But boop, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the AI. So what AI is around here? If we zoom up for a top view, we can see that generally it is similar to the rest of the Northwest. It's a forest, right? So you're going to be getting it. However, it does seem to be currently... My AI don't spawn too much around the actual gorge. They seem to be uh, hanging out kind of on you know, uh, either side of it. And this is obviously the center of the map with the AI chickens and deer. So, uh, and rabbits, excuse me. So that is the jungle goalie. Now, something to notice is that there are sea turtles and there are crabs on this northern section of the map. They haven't reworked this uh, coastal area. Uh, so it is just the old coast area, but there are crabs and there are sea turtles. So this might actually be one of the easier places to get crabs and sea turtles if you're looking for that because there's just less going on, right? It's just a simple beach um, with some simple trees. They're not going to be really hiding like they are um, over at the more in interesting and complex section of the, uh, you know, the upgraded coastal area in the southwest. Go ahead and fly over here, and we will take a look at the waterfall, which should be right there. I can't, sorry for these hitches. I don't like them as much as you guys don't like seeing them, trust me. So, this is the northern section of the map. Something I do want to immediately say is don't even bother with the northeast. There has never been something worth your time up here in the northeast. <laughs> northeast. <laughs> in the northeast. Um, both in update 3 and update 4. Uh, you can see that there are three boars, but that's it in this entire area. Um, every time I've come up here, both playing and kind of flying around, I've noticed that there's not a lot going on up here. Uh, I am excited in the future where they upgrade the map even further and give us access to that area over here. Then this little peninsula will be pretty useful, I think. It'll be kind of secluded from the rest of the map overall. Um, but yeah, currently right now, I wouldn't use it for AIs. Don't bother about uh, coming up here. I would stay away. Uh, that excludes this area right here, which is the spot many Pteranodon players know and love. That is uh, the little good nesting rock that raptors can get up to, and dryos if they wanted to be <laughs> aggressive. They've <laughs> definitely been seeing that a few times. Obviously, yeah, this is a great rock for Pteranodons to kind of grow on. But if you look around, there's not a lot of uh, seafood for them, except for over in that section that I showed you. Uh, so they got to fly a little bit around the corner to get those sea turtles and those crabs. They're not actually going to be right in front. Uh, you would expect them to be in the in the northeast, but hey, apparently they're not there. So that's what we learned from that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the eastern section of the map. Now, the eastern section of the map is... Wait, there's goats way up there? Oh, that's hilarious. We'll check out that in just a second. Let's go ahead and orient myself so I'm facing north again so you guys can kind of get a better understanding of this. And let's go sky high here just to kind of get a look. Again, it's going to look bad. All the trees are going to disappear, but we're just looking for AIs and map spawns at this point. Okay, so you can see here, what I'm flying out here to show you is the main difference that I've noticed between east and west, and that's the density of AI. Out here in the east, there's not a lot. You can see what we've got, like three boars and uh, what, three rabbits and a deer. So there's not a whole lot. And if you look over there in the east, Right? There's a lot more boars, a lot more deers, chickens, and rabbits. There's everything over there. So, generally speaking, the east is way more sparse than the northwest as far as animal AIs go. And, um, honestly, that was pretty true in Update 3 as well. In Update 3, you did have some dryos hanging out down there at the, uh, at the swamps. Um, but they, you know, they seem to be gone now because we don't have that. We have AI, uh, critters, really. Let's go ahead and take a look at these goats, because that's funny. I didn't actually expect there to be goats up on the hills. That makes sense realistically and uh, right now. So, yeah, up here, right on the border, we've got some goats hanging out. That's hilarious to me. So, yeah, there's some goats up there. I wonder if they buck you. I've actually I've really like tested them. Um, but these are going to be extremely hard to get to, if I'm honest. It's This is not an area that is very easily accessible. I mean, obviously, you can come up here as a pteranodon, um, but generally speaking... Yeah, kind of a kind of a danger. <clears throat> excuse me, kind of a danger zone for uh, <laughs> for some of the other terrestrial animals. I was expecting there to be goats around this, which is Temple Rock, uh, but that doesn't appear to be. This would be a great place. It's high enough, right? It's a cliff. 
<laughs> I should put some goats up there. Looks like we do actually have one goat that's kind of bridging the middle of the two areas. But anyway, goats in the east. If you want to go try to snack on a goat, head off into the eastern hills and, and give it a shot. Okay, so now let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the southeast. This area over here is pretty awesome and is honestly my favorite place in the map to play. It's got a little bit of everything, um, but primarily it's got bullfrogs. It's got bullfrog, 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 like everywhere. The swamp is full of bullfrogs, which is pretty awesome. You need a little bit of a, you know, a meal to, to snack up on. You can see that there's only one deer up here, so things do spawn north of Eastern Swamp, uh, and I like to call this the Swamp Rock. Although I think Fulnona, which is an amazing website, um, calls, where is it, calls that, calls that Swamp, swamp Rock, because you can see it from the entire rest of the map. So that's, that is a Swamp Rock, but this is literally a rock in the swamp. <laughs> so I call this Swamp Rock. Anyway, Eastern Swamp here and Swamp Rock uh, has this section over here, which is the open plains uh, north of it. And I would assume and would have assumed that there would have been tons of chickens and rabbits out here because it's another plains. Now, this is something that I could get into and talk for hours on. Uh, it's actually something I really don't like about Update 4 is that they have plains, but some of the plains don't have the food that they're supposed to have. Right? They don't have the rabbits, they don't have the deer, they don't have the agave, and this area in the map is really underutilized, and it really kind of breaks my heart, because um, I think this is one of the coolest little sections of the map. If you had a herbivore herd just holding down this fort, they could hang out on those rocks, they're high up on the hills, uh, or high up on a hill, more or less, just to be able to look and see everything. They've got water, they've got an e two different ecosystems, three really, with the forest right, being right there, so you can kind of move in and out of what the type of food you want. Anyway. I'll stop going on about that, but basically my point is this is a plains But it doesn't act like one and that's unfortunate So this area is super underutilized currently and I wouldn't recommend kind of hanging out here uh, With any of your dinosaurs uh, if you're a dino sure, uh, but there's not really many fish here either Which is another problem that the dinos have so anyway <laughs> They have locations in the map and they're not utilized as well as they could and that's a bummer uh, you can't see, uh, there is there is an AI deer, right? There's two, so there's one here and there's one there. So they do spawn, so they're not, it's not impossible to find meat here as like a Utah or a Carno. Um, just highly, highly unlikely, and you're much better off hanging out in the northwest or even in the center of the map picking on those rabbits. Go ahead and take a look over here of the swamp one more time, and you can see that it is pretty much just bullfrogs. Bullfrogs everywhere, and they're plentiful, so... If you're, you know, need a need a snack, head on down to the bullfrog pins and, uh, yeah, head on to the dam and you can get some bullfrogs. Pretty good to see. Um, I'm glad that this swamp, you know, has bullfrogs and hopefully they've changed the AI fish. Uh, I can't actually check that anymore. I used to be able to, but anyway, again, goes goes back to the admin panel here and uh, Ephraim being a little a little wonky. All right, guys, the last place I want to show you, and I'm going to zoom way up in the sky again just to kind of give you a, an overall view here of the entire map as we kind of do the outro and, and take a look at the last bit. This is the very, very southwest, south of the southwest swamp, and you can see that there are deer, and it is an okay area. Uh, you can actually see right in the middle of the screen there, that is the, uh, the cave. Uh, I call it Crater Cave, but I'm sure it's got a better name somewhere. Um, so south west of that over in this section right right over there that actually does have some deer spawns uh and everywhere else has a little bit of chicken and deer so you can find stuff south of the dam um but again generally speaking the whole eastern side of the map is way less dense than the section over there in the west so just something to kind of kind of you know know about I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of pan slowly here so you guys can kind of get a large view. I understand that there's tons of greens text absolutely everywhere, but feel free to pause the video if you need to. Kind of take a look at some of the uh, names, the AI deer, AI boar, AI chicken, etc. Kind of get an idea of where to go to get the animals and the diet that you need uh, when you're playing a carnivore. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps. It's a very kind of quick video. Or I guess I was talking for 20 minutes. I guess it's a normal video <laughs> uh, here to kind of, yeah, show off all this AI. And I hope you guys got something out of it. Let me know um, some other stuff you might want to see me uh, use this uh, admin mode for you guys to kind of get a better visual. It's really nice to be able to fly around and see where things spawn uh, and all that jazz. So yeah, anyway guys, if you found this helpful and useful, uh, please like and subscribe and share this to some other people who might find this helpful. 
Um, I haven't really seen so many AI, or not AI, I haven't seen many admin panel videos about Ephrema, uh, especially Update 4, uh, come out. So there might be a lot of people who are kind of curious about where all these new AIs are spawning. And uh, I hope this video helps you. Remember to subscribe if you found something helpful. It really does help push the channel uh, growth. I'm trying to reach uh, 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I would love to have you aboard to join the Sauropod squad, so I appreciate it if you would like to join the squad. Last thing I want to mention is we do have a Discord, and this is, of course, my server, Sauropod Isles, on Ivrima Public Branch. So if you want a chill place to play, you're welcome to come along. And if I'm in and you uh, see me hop hopping in, uh, feel free to uh, ask for a grow. I don't mind at all. Anyway, guys, that's it from this episode. I hope you enjoyed it for me and all of these AI creatures. <laughs> hope you have a good rest of the day. I am Jay. Peace out.